Hello, grade sixes. How are you? That's great. I'm really good too. Thanks for asking. Today I'm going to show you how to extract DNA from banana. And you can do this with any fruit. And you can probably do it at home if you have soap, dish soap, salt, and you need like an alcohol. So methylated spirits, you can buy it from the supermarket. So if you want to give this a go at home, you can. All right. I'll show you what I have set up. So this is what I have to, ex this is all you need. You can do this at home with like, <clears throat> instead of a beaker, you could just use a cup. And instead of ethanol, you can use methylated spirits. Now the DNA extracting solution is just, um, you could fill a cup with water, add a few drops of detergent, just dishwashing liquid, and then just a tiny bit of salt, just table salt. And that'll give you your DNA extracting solution. So that's all you need to extract DNA. So you can try this at home with a banana, strawberry, any fruit that you can mush. And I've got a Ziploc bag because I'm going to mush the fruit in the Ziploc bag. So that'll be the first thing we do. Let's get, oh my God, this banana is so old. Hang on. <laughs> All right, problem solved. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab a tiny bit of banana. Ugh, nice. Put the banana in my Ziploc bag. Now I'm going to measure out 40 mil of the DNA extracting solution. There we have 40 mil of DNA extracting solution. Now again, it doesn't really have to be accurate. Um, you could measure out 50 mil, 30 mil. You just want to immerse it really. Now I'm going to close up the bag. Ugh, there you go, look at that. So the banana's sitting in there. And then I'm literally just going to squish it. This is probably the funnest part of the prac. Squishing the banana. So right now, I'm going to let some air out. I'm um, just breaking up the banana so that this DNA extracting solution can have better access to the cells. Um, now the reason why the DNA solution has soap in it is because when you think about what dishwashing liquid does like if you're washing an oily pan it breaks up oil the soap does breaks up oil and fat and the membrane of all cells is made up of lipids which is another word for fats so right now this soap is acting on the membrane of the cells in the banana and it's poking holes in the membrane with the soap because the membrane is fat, soap breaks up fat, we all know this. So that's what's happening right now. So there we have nice mushy banana. And the next step is we wanna strain this to get rid of all the chunks because we wanna just work with a nice thin solution. So I'm just gonna, I've got a beaker here with some chucks over the top to strain it. You can do that at home with just a cup. So just get some chucks and put it over a cup and that's how you can strain. Ugh. I gotta do it slower. Make a little bit of a dent. Oh my goodness. All right, let me just sort myself out. Okay, I've got a bigger piece of chuck so I can make kind of a, a, a divot so it doesn't pour everywhere. We don't want that to happen. Okay, so that's done. I'm gonna take this off. Look at that. A bit of a clearer liquid. So the next step is we're going to measure out 10 mil of this. Now again, it does, if. This is because I'm gonna put it in a test tube. If you don't have a test tube at home, which I'm assuming you don't, just you can just use it in a cup like this or if you have a narrow vessel, like maybe a shot glass, but you want it to be clear as well. So any vessel or cup you have at home that is narrow that you can use. Okay, 
we're back from a different angle. Hello. So here we have our banana cells that, or yeah, cells that I've poked holes in the membrane with my soap. Measuring out five mil. Lovely. Into the test tube. So you can see that there. Now, the fun part. The part that actually extracts the DNA or precipitates it out. Do you know what precipitate means? No? Look it up. I'm going to gently squirt this on top so it forms a layer. Now you can watch it. There you go. See how that's just sitting on top? That's because ethanol is a lot less dense than um, water. So it floats on top. Now we're just going to watch this and see if you can see anything forming. Wow, there it is. So can you see that chunk of stringy blobby stuff, that there that's floating up? That is your DNA. Well, not your DNA, it's the DNA out of the banana. It's pretty wild. So if you look at the structure of DNA, it's very um, long strands. So you can see this stuff is really kind of stringy. And there you have it, DNA extracted out of banana cells. See if you can do that at home. <laughs>